The genesis of this piece for me was taking a walk in the Adelaide Hills when I was working for the Australian Dance Theatre and uh, I saw these little German Christmas cakes and on top of those were these tiny little um, sculptures, or little fixtures where you'd light a candle and the little propeller would turn. I love the way the convection drove the, the motion and uh, I just remember being quite captivated by that. And a couple of weeks later I saw Stephanie Lake's mixtape which was a work she made for Chunky Move about three years ago. And in the final scene of that piece, uh, which I loved, there was this a tray of candles was kind of introduced on the stage. It was quite beautiful. I remember at that point I thought one day I'm going to make a piece with Stephanie Lake that involves fire-driven kinetic sculptures. I often start with a very abstract premise and usually quite structural. And in this case, it was just to make choreography that was driven by some element of flame or fire. But just by nature of having human beings in such close proximity and that kind of intensity of of interaction just leads to this kind of um, emotional narrative. So one of my enduring interests has been, it has always been the, the way that physical systems move from stability to, to chaos. And if you think of the way a smoke, the smoke rises off a cigarette, for example, it's always stable for the first few inches. And then there's a point at which that stability gets problematized and it becomes chaotic. And then Steph started working with choreography that articulated this idea of, of a physical system moving from stability to chaos. That's really where we started. Yeah, one step up. Lily comes in, another step up. All right. Others come in, another step up. Okay. So give yourself somewhere to go. So he, he starts falling into you. So he is heavy at the beginning, but it needs to shift. It needs to be that you are... You're not responding. Yeah. Okay. I think it's just something that has to happen in the moment. It's got to feel real. It's a great working relationship because we come from actually very different sensibilities. He comes from a noise background, very intense. And I kind of have made works in the past that have been much more emotionally driven. And so the clash of, of those sensibilities is what's been interesting for both of us, I think. And we've kind of bent towards each other and, and ended up somewhere new. There are some sections that are very mechanically precise and, and rhythmically intricate and rely on the dancers being very synced and unified. At the other end we've got sections that are quite chaotic, basically structured improvisations. So I'm, I'm trying to push into the extremes of these places and seeing how, how one thing can inform the next and, and what the tipping point is between those extreme states. Well, I think one, in all of the work that I do, I like five, to hope that I create some sense of wonder. And that's very much what the audiovisual work that I've done for a long time is about. It's about connecting. Uh, sound and light together in a way that induces almost an artificial synesthesia. So it's inducing a neurological response that is kind of novel but also seems perfectly right.